which has a very big, very old library of magic books. And I found a book written in the 1800s by a man named Jean-Eugène Robert Houdin. Hi, how's it going? I'm Brian. Steve and Jen. Jen. So Jean-Eugène Robert Houdin wrote about a trick that he thought was tra charming, but when he tried it for an audience, it disturbed them so much that a woman fainted and he bolted without saying a word declaring he would never again be caught at such tricks. This is the man who legitimized magic as a theater art. He's the guy who Dean named himself after. And this is the trick he only tried once. Steve, right? Hold out your left hand, palm up just like so. Your other left hand, you keep that in your right hand. Keep that in your right hand, this is your left hand. There we go, I tried to keep it simple. All right, now Steve, I need you into the mic to describe in as much detail as you possibly can what object is inside that little silver box. It looks like a, a pen, right? A little tiny silver pen. Right, so it's, it's about how long? Oh, uh, six inches, four inches. Right, the, the, the shape is... Uh, Round. Right, we'll, we'll call it a nail for short, Steve. That's kind of where I was headed with that. <laughs> but the small four inch metal thingy is will work just as well. Here, you do me a favor, Jen, and hold that at the nail at all times. That way, even the folks in the back can at least catch a glimmer of what's going on. Wait, see what I'm doing? I'm pointing this at the nail. There we go. And now we have light on the nail. There we go. Okay. Your job, Steve, is to be the eyes for the folks in the back who can't quite see by describing in detail, play by play, every single thing I do. Starting right now. He's licking it? That, that's very good with the licking, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> Keep going. Here we go. He's looking at his eye. He's tapping his eye. Looking at his eye. He's putting it in his eye. He is putting it in his eye. In his eye. He's rubbing it in his eye. Okay. He's freaking out now. It's all the way in? Yes. Okay, good. How do you make it sound like a golf tournament, by the way? <laughs> All right, keep going, Steve. Here we go. He's tapping it. He's moving it. Uh, he's shaking. He's freaking out his head. Uh, he's looking up. He's looking at his other eye now. He's in his other eye. And he's pushing. He's pushing. It, 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 uh, <laughs> gross. Um, it is in his other eye. I see it. It just popped out. There we go. Now, that was pretty good, but let's see if we can take that one step farther. You guys are doing a great job. In fact, I'm going to let you trade jobs. Steve, you see to keep that pointed up the nail. Jen, you describe everything starting right now. Oh. Hi, he's licking it. Again with the licking. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Keep going, Jen. Here we go. He's putting it in his eye, in his eye, in his eye, his eye. Oh, he's closed his eyes. All right, it's, it's all the way in. a little bit. Okay, good. Keep yeah, going. Here we go. Down. Here we go. It's all the way in. It's all the way in. He's twitching. He's doing some funky stuff. <laughs> he's switching. Oh, now he snorted. <laughs> Where is he coming? Oh no, it's coming out of his mouth. Let's have a huge round of applause for my volunteers. You guys did a fantastic job. You guys did a excellent job. Thank you very much, Jen. And Steve, you guys were fantastic. All right, guys. So I've been very lucky in that the last 10 years I've toured all over the United States and internationally doing essentially jackass idiot stunts like that one. But nothing I've ever come up with in those 10 years 